you probably know the Pac-Man game. I've searched for one online. Let's have a quick look. Play the game. Classic music. Let's go. And if I eat these spots, I should be able to eat a ghost. I can come on the next screen. And uh, there it is, scratch.app. Now, first thing I want to do is get a character. Now, you're given this cat character when you first open Scratch. I'm going to, uh, you can paint a new sprite, or you can choose one from file. If I choose one from file, uh, yeah, let's choose an animal. And I'll choose a... Yeah, let's choose a shark. Let's choose a shark 1A. Okay. I'll get rid of the cat by clicking the scissors. Getting rid of the cat. Now, first thing I want to do is make my character move. So I'm going to start programming. I'm going to start control when a key is pressed. So when uh, let's have the arrow keys here. So when arrow key is pressed, do something. So what should we do? We'll move. Well, before we move, let's point to the right and then move a little bit. So, yeah, that seems to work. It doesn't move back, though, of course. So for each direction, I'm going to add a control when left arrow pressed. Uh, move uh, 10 steps. But remember to put point in direction left before that. And now I'm going to do that for all the different directions. Right, now I have my four directions. Let's see if he moves. He does move, but he rotates. Now, for this character, I only want him to face left and right. I suppose if I had the traditional Pac-Man character pointing up, pointing left, wouldn't really make a difference, uh, even if he turned around. But if you look over here, uh, you can choose to rotate or just to face left and right. So I'm going to choose only face left and right, and then bring my character on when I go up down, he only faces to the left or to the right. Now, uh, a little bit of an advanced technique. I could make the shark a bit more animated by going to costumes and choosing to import a slightly different shark, the one with his mouth open. Now, if you had done this uh, with a Pac-Man character, you could paint a new sprite, and your Pac-Man character, you could uh, give him an open mouth and a closed mouth. So uh, you would do that there. But I'm not doing that, so I'm going to delete him. Now I've got two characters. Now there's different ways of making the character change. You could make the uh, costume change every second or half a second. Um, I'm just going to do it this very simple way. Whenever I press a key, I'm going to change the look to the next costume. So let's just throw in the next costume. You don't have to do this, but if you've got two costumes, one way of making it change costume. Let's see what happens now. There we go. You get that sort of eating effect. Now, Next thing I want to do is give the uh, character uh, something to interact with. So he's going to interact with a maze. Um, let's make him a little bit smaller there. And then I'm going to create a new sprite as a maze. I'm not going to change the stage, the background here. I'm going to make the maze a new sprite instead. So um, get rid of the shrink tool. 
paint new sprites. Um, I'm going to zoom out here as much as I can and then get a hollow rectangle uh, as much near to the edge as I can. And then I'm going to do a very simple maze. Top tip, if you hold the shift key down, it snaps it to uh, make a straight line. Now, I've got a maze. Um, he is at the moment walking through the maze. He's not interacting with that sprite at all. So let's program him to bounce off the maze. Okay, I'm going to drag a control flag here. When flag clicked, I'm going to start all the scripts by clicking the flag. Forever if. So this script runs round and round and round if touching, if sensing. Yeah, if touching, well, what's he touching? Sprite 3. Actually, what I should do, really, is give this guy a different name. I'm going to call him Eater. And I'm going to call Sprite 3. Let's just change the name to Maze. So as I get more characters or sprites, I don't get confused. So now I'm programming the Eater. If the Eater is touching the maze, and I want to turn around. So we should turn around. Well, to point in the opposite direction would be 180 degrees. And let's make him move away a little bit. Now you might need to make this a little bit more depending how big your character is and what it looks like. But see if 10 steps is enough. Let's have a look if that works. Let's uh, click the flag to start the script. He's going down. Yeah, that seems to be enough for me. Fantastic. Now, the next thing I need to do is make some food to be eaten. So, uh, I'll just find some food. Uh, no, I won't paint one. I'll just find one. What does a shark eat? Let's see if I can find a fish. A little fishy. Ooh, let's use this little fishy. Okay. Right. I'm going to make him very small. So I'm going to put lots of them in a second. But before you copy and paste all your fishies, make sure that your one fish is perfectly programmed. So, I'm going to go to scripts for the fish. And um, when the flag's clicked, forever if, if touching the if touching the shark, so the eater, if he's touching the eater, he should disappear. So looks, he should hide. If touching eater, he should hide. So let's start my eater here. Now remember to click flag start script. And he disappears. Fantastic. That works. Now I want to score. So I'm going to set a variable, make a variable, I'll call it score. Okay, now at the beginning of the game, I'm going to set the score to zero. When the flag's clicked, set score to zero. Then, if touching eater, so inside this script, if touching eater, so if the fish is touching the shark, I'm going to change score by 1. Make sure that you show first, then set the score to 0. Right, so when you click the flag, changing the score by 1, you'll see here. So now this fish is showing when the flag's clicked. I want this shark also to the, uh, I'm going to start him in a particular place. I'm going to start him here. So when the flag's clicked, go to this point, which is, uh, it's come up here. So even if he's over here, when the flag's clicked, he starts down here. Now I'm happy I've made the script that works on this fish. 
I'm now going to stamp copy the fish duplicate fish stamp duplicate fish another way you can do it is right click or control click if you have a one button mouse you can keep doing this as many times as you wish but that should be enough for me to start with each one of these is programmed just the way the other fishes are so now what, let's go to full screen mode let's click on the flag he's gone to where I told him to start let's eat the fish 